If you think I'm dressed this smartly below the waist, you're wrong. So following on from me being unable to decline anything Senpai yells at me in an American accent, today I'm going to be reading bad fanfiction. Today's story comes to us from fanfiction.net user XXMoonlightXX and is titled Eva, Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. Chapter 1, The Rune of Power Flashback a very long time before the story starts. It was the 1990th century. Nick Furry was walking down a street in a dark alley in NYC City, listening to his Walkman in the rain. This is like an iPod, but for old people. But suddenly, he heard a sad moan. It sounded like a baby, but he didn't believe this at first. Because he was a careful man, and also bald. What if it might be an alien impersonating a baby, because aliens can do this? Anyways, he pulled a shotgun out from his pocket and started to sneak by the wall, concealed by the almighty embrace of shadows. Suddenly, he saw a baby. OMG, is that a baby? said Nick Furry. He locked closer, and it was indeed a baby. But it was a very spatial baby. She was pale and had long dark trusses that winded seductively around her face, but most importantly, her skin was blue and her eyes glowed redly as she felt it like an ice cube, but sculptured magically. This is clearly a demon, we must destroy it, said Colson, and he pulled an electro gun out and pointed it at the crib. No, fool, Nick Furry knocked the gun out. This is a baby ice giant. It must have been dropped here or badened. Ice giants are evil, snitted Colson. Why are you always a hater, Colson? asked Nick Furry. We must keep this ice giant, because she is a key for the future, when the nine realms collide, like the prophecy says. He took something off the baby's neck. What's this? said Colson askfully. It's an amulet, explained Nick Furry wisely. There is a rune of power on this amulet. It means she is a powerful mutant. But we can't tell her this yet. It's a secret, he said. He picked up the baby and took it to Sheld. I'm adopting this baby, he explained to all the shelled agents. Her ice giant name is acutely Saga, but she will need an earthly name. I will name her Evanessa. This is how Evanessa, also called Eva for short, joined the shield. So this is probably going to be a weekly thing. If you've got any bad fanfic that you want me to read out, I'll make sure I dress for the occasion. See you next week.